Well, good, Dominique. Good morning to everybody. I'm going to give you guys a tour of the new apartment. Um, we're in a different location now. We used to live out that direction and down the hill. And now we live up the hill. We're kind of in the mountains up here. You can see there's the top of this mountain over here, which is not very tall compared to a lot of the others around here. But we're up in the mountains. Um, there's our big mango tree right there. We've got these really pretty orange flowers in this tree right here, um, and I can't remember what they're called, but they're really pretty. Um, so this is the little house. We call it the tree house because that's what it kind of looks like. So we've got our little chairs out here, and let's go inside. So here we are. This is the living room. It's very 70s fabulous with our little futon and everything. We've got an awesome TV here, um, and over here, I don't know if you can see now that it's really dark, but there's a little button right here, and when we want to go downstairs and use the laundry facilities, we just turn that button on so that we don't get charged for the power if we're not using it. But since I've got my own little washer here, um, I only go down there very, very occasionally. So, here we are. Um, this is the fridge, <laughs> so now we actually have pictures and all that on here. We've got a few more over here of our kids, you see. Yeah, there's our Matilda. Um, this is the kitchen table. This is kind of where Jonathan is studying right now, um, but he's about to move back to the study, which I'll show you in a minute. Out here... That's the avocado tree right over there. And then back behind there, if you can kind of see, is all sorts of bananas and plantains and all that. So we have harvested a, quite a bit of that. More the living room. This is my wonderful kitchen, which I love dearly. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's huge. And it's not even huge, comparatively speaking, as far as Dominica is concerned. It's just big in general. Um, I've got an electric range and an electric oven, which is awesome. Um, we've got a microwave, and that's like a little hot water heater thing. A nice big sink. We've got a toaster oven, and then there's my beloved mixer. Um, that toaster oven is awesome, because I rarely even have to use the big oven. I can just use that when I need to cook things. So there's that. I'll take you in here and show you the bedrooms now. Well, first, this is the bathroom. It's your standard bathroom, except for the fact that compared to what we had before, it's massive. <laughs> it's huge. Um, so that's really nice to have. There's my little washing machine. Um, it's a little different. It's more European because when you get ready to take a shower, you have to turn this on. You leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes, and then you can turn the hot water on in the shower. So um, it's kind of different. This is the office. It's really a third bedroom, but um, they have it set up like an office, which works just fine because we don't need three bedrooms right now necessarily. But you see, it's got all sorts of floor space. So this is gonna be perfect for um, blow up mattresses should you choose to come and visit. Um, there is an air conditioning unit in here. It's also got track lighting, that's interesting. Um, and then it's got a really great window that kind of looks out onto some peaceful trees and stuff. We see hummingbirds out here all the time. Very cool. Okay. And I'll take you, we're going back to the bathroom. It makes that study really private because um, the only way to get through it is to walk through the bathroom. So there's not a door into the kitchen or anything like that. So he can shut himself in there and... Um, I won't bother him or any of my girlfriends that come over. So, um, This is the guest room. Again, it's got its own um, air conditioning unit. Um, right now, this is kind of our catch-all room. You see our hanging clothes here and a uh, box of stuff there in our suitcases. Um, so eventually, it'll look more, you know, put together. But right now, it's just kind of a catch-all room. And there's the bed. You might recognize that bedding. This is a full-size bed in here. Um, so that's that. Nothing all that special. We got our little remote control situation here for the air conditioning. All three of the rooms have that, so that's cool. 
All right. Now we're going to the pièce de résistance, my favorite place in the house, which I call it my sanctuary because it is so beautiful. I love it. Turn the light on so you can see. All right, here is our bedroom. Very nice. That curtain over there used to be our shower curtain at Comfort Zone, but it worked so beautifully in here in the bedroom, so we just put it here. We've got a four-poster style mosquito net, which is awesome because it means we don't have to eat mosquito net at night. Um, and it's got its own air conditioning unit up here, which is very nice. Um, it's actually on right now, so it's really, really nice and cool in this bedroom. We're going to be replacing those curtains um, as soon as our box comes in, but for now. So yes, this is the bed. It looks so cozy and comfy. I kind of want to get in it right now. So um, we've got two dressers. We've got this dresser and then the one over there by my bedside. So we've got like eight drawers, which is like fabulous. It's amazing. It's funny what you find exciting. Um, when your paradigm shifts. Anyway, so, and then we've got this little desk here, which is kind of catch-all. Eventually, we'll make it look nicer, but that's what it is for now. Um, so that's it. That's our little 5D number four apartment. We call it the tree house. We'll be here until we are done with our stint here in Dominica. Um, so we're very, very happy here. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope I didn't make you too carsick. And <laughs> see you guys later.